Jaime Escalante says, it is not about the number of times that you fall down, but about the number of times that you get back up. Well, let's imagine this. Let's imagine that we are 20 or 30 years older than we are now. We just fall down. We are on the floor. We feel a sharp pain coming from our hips. We call someone and they rush to help us. But there is one problem. Our front door is locked. So we have to drag ourselves, open that door. Can you imagine the pain? Well, this is the story of one of my grandmothers. And this could be the story of one in every four older adults. Why do we fall down? We fall down because we become slower. Why do we become slower? Well, one reason is because the way we activate our muscles changes with aging. So when we are young, during a movement, such as a biceps curl, we have our main muscle, the biceps, and we have the opposing muscle, the triceps. During that biceps curl, the biceps, it's going to activate the most, and the triceps, very little. But then with aging, the triceps starts activating much more. Why? Well, some studies have looked at the brain, others at the spinal cord, others at the muscles. Yet, all of these are related, but no study has looked at these three components within the same research. Therefore, I have three goals for my research. First, identify the underlying mechanisms behind that increase in the opposing muscle activation. Second, how these changes affect performance, how they affect our reaction capacity. And finally, with this knowledge, I want to develop a specific training exercise training interventions to reduce the number of falls. Contrary to what Jaime Escalante says, with aging, it is about the fall. One fall can be the difference between getting back up or not. Thank you.